Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so first things first, a little explanation. This is the first product review for my channel since a huge tragic and huge change of my life. Um, I started uh, having thoughts about not continuing with my channel, but I have made the decision that I'm going to. Um, throughout that time I've had a big operation and I've also lost my nan, who is my absolute world. So this is the first clip moving, taking a step forward with all of what has gone on. So holding my nan here, and we are taking a step forward. Okay, so today we are looking at Roots Double Effect. So very often on my channel, I really, really very much enjoy looking at products which can boost hair growth and can keep, hopefully, thinning hair at bay. I enjoy nothing more than trying out different products, whether that be for fine hair, whether that be for sort of texture in the hair, whether that be for creating a bit more thickness, a bit more volume, many different things, whether that be sort of uh, a shampoo, a conditioner, a treatment spray, or a hair gel, or a wax. So today we are looking at the Roots Double Effect system. So I have got the Sensitive Care Shampoo, I have got the Nourishing Conditioner, and I have got the Intensive Treatment Spray here. So I have been using using this for about six weeks now. Now my hair, hair, my hair's on the finer side, it's on the finer side but it's growing as you can see if I put my head back you can see that it's growing at the back here and it's really looking quite cool. It's really hot weather here in the UK at the moment um, so what I've done is I've just put some pomade through my hands, I've pulled all my hair off onto one side and I've just sort of gone and sort of embraced the texture in different areas and it looks really super cool and I really like what's going on here. So I have got quite fine textured hair, so I'm always looking for different products which can boost the thickness, boost the density, whether that be in my hairline, whether that be sort of in the actual length of the hair, just creating a little bit more texture, a little bit more character. Fine hair often sits quite flat, so a lot of people who have fine hair will be able to relate to that. And I'm not saying I have super fine thin hair, because I don't. Fortunately, thankfully, I'm not losing my hair, and I do have quite a lot of it, but it is on the finer side. So using the right products, I can still have an absolute ultra amazing hairstyle, and so can you. So let's start by looking at the shampoo. So the Roots Shampoo. So in the range of the Roots uh, Shampoo, I will just be honest, so the shampoo, the conditioner and the intensive treatment spray, I tried this when this first came out several years ago and I did use it because the product range recommends to use for 12 weeks with the intensive spray, the shampoo and the conditioner to get the optimum effect. Now I used it for 12 weeks, I found a little bit of a difference and I found a slight amount of difference in the amount of hairs which you actually lose. You know, for example, when you wash your hair, when you condition your hair, and then when you style your hair. So the amount of hairs which come away in which you see, I've seen a slight reduction in that. However, I wasn't that impressed and I certainly wasn't that taken by the products back then. And I always sort of thought to myself that I would give it another go when I started my channel up and I would have a look at the root system once again. Why ultimately do you think I didn't like it? Well, we're going to go into that, but I'm going to kind of put my past experience behind and I'm going to go from the latest experience. So I'm six weeks into using the root system now. So all throughout my operation and all throughout um, a very difficult traumatic event, uh, which went on with my nan, um, I use this system range here. So religiously, I use the shampoo and the conditioner and then the intensive spray. So the Sensitive Care Shampoo, now they have many different, when it first came out, you didn't have too much of a choice, but now you have quite a lot of choice of what type of hair uh, and scalp. For example, I have got here the Sensitive Care. I know there's one for coloured hair, I believe, and I know there's one for curled hair as well. Um, but here, I've got the Sensitive Care Shampoo. That's because sometimes I get quite a sensitive nape of my neck at the back here. And just because I've got finer texture hair and I'm growing it out a little bit, um, I just want to ultimately look after my scalp and my hair as much as I can with the added effect of hopefully reducing the amount of daily hair fall which I actually lose. So my sort of take on it is the less hair I see, the more hair is anchored onto my scalp, which in turn makes the hair thicker. So here we have got the Sensitive Care Shampoo, gentle cleansing for all hair types. So the sort of the hero sort of product in this range is this here. So pro, for, forgive me for not pronouncing it correctly. So Pro Capil, 
Procapil to reduce hair loss. So the product here is just making uh, very clear on all of the packaging here that it's vegan friendly, silicon and LSS free, which is sodium lithium sulfate, which if you're a little bit unsure of what that is, that's in either a shampoo or sort of a conditioner, which gives it like a really rich, intense lather. So those products which are added into our, uh, our hair products to almost give us that sort of unnatural feel. So either that sleek sort of over intensing conditioner where it gets to the point where almost that you've conditioned your hair so soft and so sleek like glass like that you've got hardly any hair there at all where it feels so flat and so sleek or when you get like you've used like a small amount of shampoo and you get a huge intense lather that is usually because there is sodium lithium sulfate in there which helps really lather the uh the scalp and the hair ultimately fantastic if you wear a lot of hair products for example like me who wears a lot of waxes pomade sprays in my hair quite often then that's great to remove the product and then of course to work onto the scalp and the hair but for some individuals with finer or even thinning hair which of course can both be fantastically styled and look really really cool sometimes it's a little bit strong a little bit strenuous on the hair and the scalp so just be really careful with that so the roots range is fantastic for anybody who wants to try that and they are concerned about what they're using on their scalp with sulfate so this is really really good for that and it actually says on the back that you may experience a less of a lava but to be quite honest with you when you have wet hair and then you use the product you do get a really moderate sort of lava and you don't really miss it to be quite honest with you at all so here again let's just go back to the packaging so it's cruelty free which is fantastic it's 100 percent recyclable which is brilliant it's a british made beauty it says here which is really really always really good to know that if wherever you are in the world, the products are still being made in that area. Of course, it's slightly better for the environment. And it's just really great that you've got that sort of reputable brand and it's a local brand. And it's almost like that, that heritage, that homage to sort of um, manufacturing to your local area. So it's really, really cool. And I really, really like that in products as well. So on the back here on the shampoo, give back to your roots. So Roots Double Effect Sensitive Care Shampoo is formulated with tea tree, coconut oil, moringa oil. I think I believe that's pronounced right. Moringa oil, forgive me, and cinnamon bark oil to gently cleanse hair and scalp. Procopil uh, to help promote stronger, thicker looking hair. Okay, so we know straight away in there that coconut oil is really, really good for conditioning and looking after the hair. Tea tree, it is said that you can have some effects against uh, inhibiting hair loss through tea tree. That's just because I've, I've known that through my own research in the background before. Um, so really, really great products there in the shampoo to help. So we've got on the, on the directions here, apply to wet hair and gently massage into your scalp, rinse thoroughly, repeat if desired. So uh, very often I always shampoo my hair twice, once to remove the product, and then the second time to get the ingredients what's in the shampoo working on my scalp and my hair follicles. So next, so as Roots is formulated without harsh sulfates, so that's the sodium lithium sulfate, you may notice less foam than usual. Well, I actually didn't, to be quite honest with you. So Roots Double Effect clinically tested three-step system to achieve best results used for a minimum of 12 weeks to help reduce hair loss. So number one, the Roots shampoo, number two, the conditioner, and number three, the Roots intensive treatments. And this is dermatologically tested. Okay, now on the back here we've got cruelty free and we've got widely recycled, which is great. And I always say that because at the end of the day, I want my children's children, children to have this world we live in, this fantastic uh, globe which we live in. And I think it's just really great for us to take responsibility of what we buy, because then of course, it's how those products are coming about, how they're getting to us. And then of course, if they're recyclable, how we dispose of them once they're at the end of their journey from us as well. Okay, so shampoo. First sort of opinion on that, I've used it for six weeks. As I say, I did use this one several years ago. Um, and ultimately, the only reason I wasn't too impressed back then was because of how the conditioner left my hair feeling. It is now changed. It's very different now, which we're going to go into in just a moment. But the shampoo, all round, brilliant, to be quite honest with you. It is really, really good. It gives the hair a little bit of texture, but it's also really moisturizing as well. There's some really great natural ingredients in here. So straight away, we have got, if you think about it, we've got the cinnamon bark oil, we've got the coconut oil, the tea tree oil, the moringa oil, and there is a couple of natural sort of ingredients in here as well. So it really does look after the scalp and look after the hair. So as a shampoo, this is really, really good. Does it help against hair loss? I would actually say that the product for me, what helps against hair loss, is the intensive treatment spray. The only sort of bugbear I find with this is, okay, so you're telling me it's got the uh, Procapil in here, Procapil in here, but you're not actually telling me what that is. So do you know what I mean? There's an element of trust, what we have to trust the industry, trust this product range, that it's going to help us, because you're not explaining to me what, and for a start as well, the double effect. 
That's why I always get a bit hung up on this range. What's the double effect? Could be that it's a sensitive care and then the sort of uh, the reducing of hair loss, possibly. But it's not particularly very clear, I don't feel. But all in all, really great product and certainly one I would continue to use. Now I've re reviewed it on my channel. Would I buy it again? Um, I don't know. I think I would be interested in trying other products, to be quite honest with you as well. Um, and we're going to get to my end conclusion for that reason being, certainly. So let's move on to the conditioner. So the nourishing conditioner locks in moisture for shine and hydration. So on the shampoo here, it gently, uh, gently cleanses raw hair types. And here it locks in moisture for shine and hydration. So Procopil to reduce hair loss. So again, vegan friendly, silicon and SLS free, so sodium lithium sulfate, cruelty free, and 100% recyclable British made beauty. So it's 250 mils, by the way. So they do last. Um, and you may be looking at the bottle and thinking, are oh, they a little bit awkward? Sometimes I believe they can be, just because it's quite sort of harsh, um, sort of plastic packaging. So when you get to the bottom of the bottle, it is a little bit difficult to get out, but sort of ergonomically, it's fine. Um, do I like it? It's good. Do I like the writing, everything on here and sort of the presentation of the bottle? I do think possibly it looks almost like somebody could have run it up themselves. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't scream that sort of professional look. But however, that's only a personal opinion. Um, it is certainly eye catching. As I say, I would just like to know a little bit more about what the Procopil means. Because again, on the conditioner, we don't actually have that, unfortunately. So again, on the back, it's got give back to your roots. So that's the sort of slogan across all of the range as well, actually. And roots double effect nourishing conditioner is formulated with avocado oil. So we know that's really fantastic and nourishing for the scalp and the hair. Then we've got sweet almond oil. So that's really great if you've got dry hair so that's great to have that in here boba oil aloe vera and moringa oil to help rehydrate curly dry or damaged hair so we know that those three oils in harmony would be a really fantastic if you were going to use them naturally and separately so to have them in a the conditioner really really helps as well do i find that having those products in here that the conditioner is as nourishing as what it sounds unfortunately it's not it's nourishing but i would expect it to be sort of much more sort of um, easier to get the comb through after you've washed and conditioned your hair, which to be honest with you, you have to a little, be a little bit careful, always comb from the ends up towards your scalp. And I just think for all those amazing sort of natural products in here, you would expect it to have your, your hair in sort of amazing sort of nourishment, that huge sort of shock, but actually it doesn't. So for me, it's great. But I think that for the ingredients, what's in here, particularly the avocado oil and particularly the aloe vera, which is great for skin, so for the scalp and for looking after the hair too, and all the other natural ingredients in here, I would have thought that it would have been a little bit more nourishing, to be quite honest with you, but it is a great conditioner all the same. Now, do I think that this helps against hair loss? To be quite honest with you, they're great for creating texture and for volume in the hair, but do I think they're fantastic for hair loss? I'm going to be honest, I actually found that I had in the first couple of weeks a more of an increased fall, I actually found. Looking at the reviews online, it seems to work much more better for women, but for men's hair, there are some fantastic reviews as well. But for me, I found that I actually had an increased fall with the shampoo and the conditioner. However, when the week sort of went on, and we are where we are now, then and I've not got much in the bottles now, but... I haven't had to buy another one, but I'm close to having to buy another one, I have to admit, um, on both of them, the shampoo and the conditioner. That sort of slowed down at about the three, four week mark. And now I feel a real nice sort of texture. And what I would say with this system as well is when you first use it, you think, well, that doesn't make my hair feel very nice. Keep at it. Keep using it because the, the sort of the feeling of your hair improves more and more when you use a shampoo and a conditioner. And ultimately, in the end, it's almost like a cumulative effect that it actually looks after your hair and you get a little bit more of a fuller feeling hair uh, or head of hair rather with the conditioner as well as the shampoo. So really good. So just it's really good, but I wouldn't say excellent. Um, but for me, the effect of the hair loss um, against the hair loss comes from the intensive treatment spray. So this ultimately is your intensive go-to sort of treatment for if you are worried about thinning or fine hair. So it's an intensive treatment spray, stronger, thicker looking hair. So again, we've got the Procopil in here to reduce hair loss. It's vegan friendly. Uh, it's silicon and SLS free, so sodium and sulfate, cruelty free, bottle cap recyclable.
Okay, so fantastic. Then here, give back your roots. Again, the slogan across the whole of the range. And then we've got here, roots double effect intensive treatment spray is a highly concentrated leave-in formula with rosemary oil. Now, rosemary oil, I just know anyway from my own research, is said to really inhibit hair loss and really stop it in its tracks. And it actually can... Uh, promote thicker, fuller hair, and in some parts of the world can actually even be looked at as a hair loss treatment and can actually, apparently, I don't know this certainly, even online can actually suggest that it can actually regrow hair in some people. Myself, I'm not necessarily sure on that, but of course, when it's natural and it's a natural oil which can be found, not necessarily just in this product, it's certainly worth a try, to be quite honest with you. But in here, it says that it uh, rejuvenates and fortifies the hair and the scalp, nourishing and strengthening thinning hair to help reduce hair loss. Procopil helps promote thicker, stronger looking hair. That's the first time, to be quite honest with you, it mentions that in the range here. Okay, so and again it's telling us that we need to use it for a minimum of 12 weeks and it helps reduce hair loss. Okay, so we've got a few ingredients, which just to pick out here, we've got menthol, which is really calling, calling on the scalp and quite soothing as well. And it's quite a stimulant to the scalp as well. And we've got the rosemary leaf oil in here. We've got the hydrogenated castor oil in here. And we've got a few other science ingredients. Okay, so now let's get honest. What do I think about this spray when using it in my hair? So straight off, for some unknown reason, it makes my scalp go red. It doesn't sting, it doesn't agitate, but it makes it go red. So clearly the ingredients in here is stimulating the skin and hopefully stimulating the hair roots. It's really great. You can comb your hair through after you've used it. It's not like tacky or like a hairspray type product. My only sort of huge sort of unfortunately bugbear with this is the smell. I don't know if it's me personally, but the smell always catches me in the back of my throat. It's quite sort of um, chemically, um, in fact, worse than a hairspray, unfortunately. And for some unknown reason, it makes me cough every time I use it. I don't know why. Now, you may think, why on earth would you use it for, for weeks on end if it makes you cough? Well, because just to give it a fair, fair enough trial and just to be able to sort of give a fair evaluation on my experience. Now, exactly the same thing happened when I used it several years ago. So there's obviously something in here which doesn't agree with me and it really does make me cough and it makes my chest quite agitated. So just be really, really careful with that. And actually, after several days of using it on the scalp, even though I say that it doesn't agitate the scalp, it can almost make your, your scalp feel a little bit sore with the redness, but that soon passes, to be quite honest with you. But again, that could just be me. Um, so I'm just trying to stay sort of quite impartial with that anyway. Ultimately, does it work? So I do find that I lose less hair through when I wash, condition and style my hair when I'm using this. Do I think it's a hero product? No, I'll be quite honest with you, no. It's a great product range. Now, if I was to buy this, this is £10 on its own, and the shampoo and the conditioner is 6 99 I bought this in Boots here in the UK. And at the moment, the shampoo and the conditioner are 2 for £10. Please don't quote me on that, because time you find it, it might well have changed. But I think ultimately for £20, it's a good range to get you started if you are finding that you are having concerns with your hair. Um, ultimately, I think that the shampoo and the conditioner, of course, help to an extent of creating that appearance, that illusion of thicker, fuller hair. But ultimately, I think that the treatment spray is the one which gets to the sort of almost the treatment of what's actually happening with your hair, whether it be thinning, whether you're going through something in your life which is causing your hair to uh, to fall out. Um, but ultimately, what I would say is, well, if you are having problems with hair loss, the first point of call is to speak to a medical professional, speak to your family GP, or speak to even a pharmacist. You really want to get that sort of that medical knowledge, that experience, because ultimately, I always say, whatever is going on in the inside could be a reflection of what's happening on the outside. So hair is truly an inner expression of your inner health. So really just be quite careful with that and approach this range with caution. As I said, I've had one or two things which I'm not 100% happy with, but ultimately I would buy it again. I'm interested to try different products on the market. So right now I probably will use this and I will sort of try something else. But ultimately, if you are having problems with fine or thinning hair, then it's certainly worth a try. But I would just say just approach with caution. Absolutely. What I do just want to leave you with, because my only sort of, again, what I'm not 100% too happy with it, is it says very often is Procopil.
What on earth's Procopil? Okay, for me even saying it right, that is. So I've got my phone here, and I'm just going to bring up and tell you what Procopil is. So Procopil is a new breakthrough formula that strengthens hair and prevents hair loss naturally. A herbal complex containing natural active ingredients that help to firmly anchor hair follicles to the scalp and make the cells of of the, uh, of, I think there's even a spelling mistake there or something, or perhaps I'm not quite reading it right, follicles in the scalp and make the cells of their own hair bulb denser, allowing them to keep hair young and healthy. Okay, so I hope that clears up what Procopil is. I've used it for several weeks, and to be quite honest with you, very often I have to look up and think, well, what actually is that product? Ultimately, I think if you buy a range and it's saying it's got something in it, it needs to be really, really clear what that product is and what we can expect to get from that product. I find very often when we buy a product for hair, or if it's for fine or thinning hair, then you have such an element of trust there. So in a way, for it not to have it on the packaging is a little bit sort of deceitful, I find. But there we go. That could just be me. OK, so thank you very much indeed for sharing this clip with me. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have too. As I say, this is my first one back from a very, very tragic couple of months. So thank you very much for being here. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now.